Hello guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. Um, today I've actually started a new series. It's called a Minecraft, like I'm gonna call it the Minecraft designs or something like that. It's a mini series that I'll probably do my designs on. So I hope you enjoy it. The first one, it's going to be, um, if you have read it by the title, it's gonna be probably dog pens and it's probably going to be called that uh, i hope you guys enjoy if you do then don't forget to smash that like button share this video with your friends and family so as you can see the first design isn't really much uh difficult it's probably the easiest one that you're gonna see oh well, not the easiest one i've got another one that's pretty easy but this one is a really simple design what it really is is just two fans uh, on top of each other and then just two leads um with dogs on <laughs> and i've got balls on the ground that resembles a food for the dogs you can also see it has like brownish things if you ever have seen or if you ever like if you own a dog and you put food in you'll probably see it's like brownish food not all the time but it's brown so it kind of resembles the food for the dogs it's a simple easy design what would fit anywhere right up to the second one as you can see for the second one i haven't really done much detail I have done much because really what it is it's just I've used bird uh, fences put it around a small area I've put five dogs in there and as you can see as in the first design I have put down five uh wait not five these are three <laughs> sorry I've put down three balls just for the dogs to eat out of what they have to resemble food for them also I at the front of the uh, at front I have made a little pathway leading up to the pen itself basically what this is meant to be is a crackled road with some pebbles on the way and the buttons are meant to be kind of stones pebbles whatever you want to call them and then just uh, this new block that I'm not sure what's called I forgot what's called damn it right I forgot what's called but it later on when i'm editing this video i'll leave it in the screen i've also got some of these grass just put it around with some bone meal and i've got a tree at the back just to make it look a bit more detailed otherwise it would just look boring with fences around a couple of dogs that would probably just look a bit too weird <laughs> right up to the third one so here at the third one i have uh i haven't really done much detail for this one to be honest i have only built a small hut oh no i just release the dog that wasn't meant to happen Ooh. right so what i've done for that one is basically i've built a, a small hut then i've uh, inside of the hut i have actually put wool down just to make it look a bit more comfortable i have put down a, a fence gate just to make the door so it doesn't really look all sealed off and the dog still has some air to come in kind of fresher <laughs> and the ball outside here for the food as i've done with the other two designs you will probably see them uh, in every single design these food balls so yeah i've also put the torch down just to light it up and for the roof i have put down slabs what i've done with these slabs is i've put one there and then i've put one above the window so he can still look out if he wanted to i'm not sure why he would he can just go outside anytime the design looked nice <laughs> and i have uh, made kind of a pointer roof with this lab so it just looks really nice you can put this anywhere in your garden outside it doesn't matter this would just look great anywhere to be honest and i have got a frame and then i've put a bone in there because if you look at these um dog pens on google or images google images you will probably see they have all a bone on top trying to say this is a pan for a dog or a house whatever you want to call it i've put also grass around it just to make it look a bit more natural and a bit more real kind of if you get what i mean <laughs> right up to the fourth one this fourth one is probably the most difficult one i made <laughs> it has grass around it but you have to place it specifically like this otherwise it wouldn't look nice i'm, I'm just such an idiot <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Right, what I've used for this one is I have used three stairs and I've put them around like this. Then I've actually got a slab, put it on top, and it all makes it look like a small, um, kind of a small, uh, I'm not sure if I can call it a house really or a hut, anything like that. Just this, I don't know, <laughs> um, just a small thing where the dog can just spend his time, I guess. You can put it anywhere it would just looks good i guess <laughs> right i'm gonna get some pork chops so the dog is facing me because this just looks really weird right face me face come on 
Yo, don't you want me? Wait, do they eat pork chops? Yeah, it does. Why is she not looking at me? Ah, wow. Even a dog doesn't want to look at me. That's just sad. Right, up to the fifth. And this fifth one is a massive tree. I ran out of ideas, guys, so I had to make a massive tree. This tree took me an entire hour just to make it look perfect. I could have gone for the more dumb way and just placed down blocks and then made a tree out of it. But no, guys, I wanted to have it perfect. <laughs> so as you can see, this is just a massive tree, dark oak, to be honest, uh, to be more specific, not to be honest. What? <laughs> what? Uh, and then I have used the slabs to put them like I've put slabs on top of these logs facing upwards like that just to make it look. I don't know. It just give me this feeling about this tree being more like connected or something uh, i don't know how to describe it but it just gave this tree a bit more of a touch it just didn't really make it look so boring it made it look more special and different to uh, all the other trees and inside of here i've obviously put down the dog because it's meant to represent a pen uh it's probably not the best idea i've come up with <laughs> but it's definitely probably the most beautiful thing that i've ever created and you may ask what are these things out here these are meant to be the roots of the tree coming out of the ground because what i was thinking about this design it has to be something gothic something horror or something that can fit into a jungle or a forest type of area so this is what i came up with with the ground i have put down this weird dirt type of thing I forgot what it was called. I think it's pot soil or something. I've put it down just to make it look more like weird and kind of messed up. And I've put these moss um, blocks just to make it look like rocks and boulders out of the ground. Moss and all that stuff. This is meant to be old but scary. It would literally fit anywhere. Well, not anywhere, but it would fit in like gothic areas. So like dark, scary, cold areas. So, yeah. <laughs> right, these are all the designs, guys, I've come up with. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If we can get more than five likes, I'll carry on this um, series. I'll make a series about it. So, if you want one, just like. And if you want me to build any of these houses, just uh, comment. Just say which one you want, number one, two, three, four, or five. Just say, build that one. I'll make a separate video showing how I made it, what I did, 